Hey everyone, coming at you from Japan. Today we're going to look at the Tokyo Maruri electric M9 pistol. This is the M9A1 version, which came into service with the US military in 2006. This is one of my favorite handgun designs, which has been in movies like Lethal Weapon, Die Hard, and films by John Woo. We'll also take a look at how it shoots at the range and how it compares to the gas blowback version. This pistol is light, but feels solid for an all plastic gun. It fires at about 250 FPS with 0.2 gram BBs, which is decent for a handgun. You use the slide catch to switch from semi-auto to full auto fire. I've had this gun for a year now and the only issue I've had with it is that when you put it on full auto fire sometimes it would lock into full auto fire only even if you put it back to semi auto fire. I really like using this gun in the winter because gas guns don't really work well in the cold weather. This is the Samurai Edge version from Resident Evil. This is actually the first handgun I bought and it doesn't come with an adjustable hop-up and one of the magazines uh, actually leaked after one year. After owning both versions of the gun, I prefer the electric version, unless I want to dual wield at an airsoft game. Thanks for watching. This review of the Tokyo Madri M9 electric pistol and on to the next one.